So, Borderlands the movie came out. I watched it, and you know, it was interesting. When I heard they were making this movie, I thought to myself, slam dunk. Easy slam dunk. I mean, here you have a very simple premise. Vault hunters try to find the key to unlock a vault that has who knows what, but everyone believes it will basically lead to their salvation. Other bad people trying to collect a vault. He had lots of shooter, bang, 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 boom, 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 yada, yada, yada. A simple action movie, not expecting it to be a masterpiece. It's not going to be like The Godfather or Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, you know, that won 12 Grammys or Oscars or whatever. I was just expecting a straightforward Borderlands movie. It seemed very easy to do this. And I pictured this movie and this, like I said, it really does feel like a slam dunk. You know, it's a six foot seven guy. The ball's stolen. They throw it to him and he's all by himself. All he has to do is dunk the basketball into the hoop. Basically the easiest thing possible. And yet somehow, somehow they completely biffed it. They completely botched the slam dunk. The guy, not only did he not get the slam dunk, but he somehow managed to slam his head into the hoop, fall down, and break his leg. And that is about the most accurate description I can give to you to just how horrendous and horrible and awful and terrible the Borderlands movie was. It was supposed to be an easy slam dunk and it turned into a guy hitting his head into the basketball hoop and falling down and breaking his leg. And you know, I really should have seen this coming and I did expect it to be bad just by the trailer alone and who they got to play the roles. None of these actors and actresses fit the bill, man, and they're all just too old. I don't know why Kate Blanchett, for example, is playing as Lilith. Lilith is supposed to be 22 in the games. You need someone that's young and spry, and you can just tell that the actors and actresses, for the most part, I think um, Jack Black tried. I really do think he tried, and there were some moments where Claptrap really did feel like Claptrap, but that's about it. Uh, everybody else just, they were phoning it in, man. They did not care. The the acting came out really flat in this. I mean, even if I wasn't a Borderlands fan, which I am because I have played all of the Borderlands games basically and I love this series, this still would have been a subpar movie at best. But I mean, it is just a straight up bad movie. The characters do not fit the characters from the video game. Tiny Tina especially, it was just, everything was just wrong with Tiny Tina and Lilith and Roland and Tannis and I mean oh gosh all of them all of the characters and then I like again how is the how do they mess up the plot of Borderlands it's not like it's earth shattering crazy but they took too much from Borderlands I don't know what Eli Roth was thinking other than he decided I guess that he could make a better story than what was given to you from the video games I'm convinced that he has never even played a Borderlands video game based off of this because he basically took a bunch of elements from Borderlands 1 and then stuck them into Borderlands 2 and had a few things from Borderlands 3 sprinkled in there for good measure and then somehow decided to come up with this nonsensical stupid idiotic plot and he said yes this is this is what Borderlands is but that's not the case. The writing was bad, the jokes fell flat, the characters weren't at all like the characters you'd expect from the game the actors were just phoning it in they didn't look like they were trying i don't think they even cared the cgi looked bad how does the cgi look bad in this like that's the one thing if anything else the action sequences and the cgi should at least look decent but they don't it's all just gibberish i don't get it I'm trying, look, I'm not trying to be mean. I really don't want to be mean. I love Borderlands. I want to tell the fans of Borderlands what is good about this so they'll have an idea. But honestly, I don't know. It's so bad, it's not funny. It's not like the Mario Bros. movie from the 90s. I think that one's funny. It has its moments of just, because it's so ridiculous and so inaccurate that it's just fun to watch because it's so laughable. This isn't. This movie is just straight up depressing. 
I think I laughed once on a moment that Claptrap did. Like I said, I think Jack Black generally actually tried. I think he was the only actor on this entire movie that actually gave a damn about the movie. But everybody else just didn't seem like they cared, and I can't blame them. I can't blame them. When Eli Roth is directing a PG-13 thing, this is the guy, by the way, that really likes his torture porn movies and stuff. And that's the other thing is, I don't know why this is PG-13 other than they're trying to desperately get more people to come to the theaters because this really should have been rated R because Borderlands is not a PG-13 style game. It's rated M. It's supposed to be bloody and exciting and exhilarating and everything they did in this movie just didn't feel like Borderlands and I think that's the biggest problem with this movie. Even though they had some of the music it was even from the game they had some of the songs from the game in there and whatnot nothing else actually felt like borderlands and the pacing it just felt rushed too i was just it's such a letdown and such a bummer especially for someone like me that really i love borderlands man i was hoping for a slam dunk i wasn't expecting 10 out of 10 i was expecting somewhere between like a 6 out of 10 a 7 out of 10 a silly fun time kind of like what borderlands can give you but this movie isn't it man it's not even close when i think about all the movies that are video game adaptations and i think about you know i think about that super mario bros movie from the 90s or mortal kombat or doom any of the Tomb Raiders, I mean, Uncharted, Gran Turismo, you name it, man. I think about all these movies that I've seen. I have to say, I think Borderlands the movie is the worst of the worst. I think this might very well be the worst video game based movie I have ever seen in my life. It is definitely one of the worst movies I have ever seen in my life. It is a soulless movie devoid of life. They chose the wrong director. They chose the wrong actors. They did everything possibly wrong. I mean, I can't, honestly, I seriously, I can't think of anything that was good about this movie. Stay away at all costs. On a scale from one to 10, how much did I enjoy the Borderlands movie? I, I seriously say, I think I, I, it's a one. It's a one. Maybe I could go up to a two. There was a few moments in there that my brain managed to secure that said, hey, at least that was okay. But uh, yeah, it's a one or a two out of ten, guys. It's just, it really is that bad. But let me know what you thought of the Borderlands movie if you were one of the unlucky ones like me and you got to go watch. Maybe you enjoyed it. I would love to see someone that just says, hey, you know what? All things considered, I still had a good time, and if you did, gosh, I'm happy for you. Gosh, I'm happy for you. I really do want people to enjoy things. So, uh, yeah, and as always, guys, I am Bradley Overrated, out like a trout. Glory to mankind, and may God have mercy on your soul. And I'm not being blasphemous when I say that, if you happen to watch this thing. Um, yeah, later.